Alright guys, this is CG Animator, and we're continuing where we left off on this Majestic Sword modeling tutorial. So let's go into edit mode here. We can actually, let's turn the subdivisions down to one just for now. So um, let's go ahead and keep working on our handle here. Let's go into face select mode. So let's go ahead and select this, and we'll select this as well. And uh, actually we can just stay in vertex select mode. And, uh, just select these really quickly because I was thinking and it'd be better to just do it like this. So, mm. actually we have to do this a face at a time since we have it the way we do. So what I want to do is, um, actually we, we can do this with the edge select mode. Yeah, and just deselect these edges here. Okay. So what I want to do is uh, have a, two little indentions here, and because if we, um, I want to extrude and scale down, and the, if we do that, it will extrude towards the center here because we have it on uh, the pivot center of all the selections, and we don't want that. We want to turn it to the in individual origin so that they just uh, extrude and scale. Oops, sorry, and everything based on their own origins or their vertex points. So let's press E to extrude. And because we have clipping on, it'll be just one giant uh, thing, one giant face. Let's go, ahead and go back to two here. And let's go ahead and scale down here. Uh, okay. Do we have the individual points? Oh well. But uh, instead of that, if that doesn't work, like you see, it's not working, just press smooth. And that seems to do it. And after you smoothed it a couple times, press E to extrude and then extrude in a little bit and then extrude in some more so we get some cool indentions okay let's go into face select mode real quick and select this middle face here and then we'll go ahead and extrude it scale it down some like so and then extrude one more time like we just did with the other two okay so now that we have that we can uh, go ahead and continue here uh, I'd like to add two loop cuts here and press E to extrude and then press Alt S or actually S and then shift Z to exclude the the axis there and that's a little bit more detail so and uh, I'd like to add an emblem here so let's press shift A add mesh cube press tab to go into edit mode let's move this over here and delete this interface oops sorry press X delete faces let's go ahead and add a mirror do clipping and let's bring these in on the x-axis until they merge together and let's go ahead and add a subsurf I'm just gonna keep calling it subsurf that's what everybody knows it as that's what I know it as so I'll just keep calling it like that let's go ahead and give it some smooth shading and if you don't like this toolbar here just press T to get rid of it and uh, I'll actually just keep it like that for now so let's go ahead and just uh, position first thing S Y to scale on the Y axis and S X to scale on the X axis, S Z to scale on the Z axis and G Z to bring it down on the Z axis. Let's press G Y to bring it out like so. Let's scale it down a little bit more. There we go. So um, they don't have a bevel. Um, in the special yet and I don't really know where it is because when I put bring up the uh, this here where you can search for tools and I put in bevel uh, it doesn't show anything so I think they it's either a modifier now or something but uh, I don't really need it anyway so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and select this first of all let's go ahead and press control R through the middle and bring out an edge here right about there then we'll select this face press E to extrude right click scale in as so and then E to extrude a little bit in like that scale just a small bit and then extrude again out and then we have a nice little emblem here and go ahead and add three subdivisions so it's nice and smooth now uh, if you want to you can go ahead and uh, select this edge up here press E to extrude and just smooth it out some well actually no let's go ahead and press Alt S just to tad bit and then press smooth and then press alt s one more time 
and then we can go ahead and go into vertex select mode select this edge here and we can just scale that in a little bit to make it a little more uniform there select these back vertices here and scale down and uh, let's go to face select mode one more time and uh, we can actually uh, we can go ahead and give it a little bit more if you want to actually let's not go too snazzy with this I actually kind of like how that looks right there it's peeking out too much though yeah what I did earlier was stupid let me just undo that we didn't need to extrude it that one time let's go ahead and bring this in there and actually I like the rounded look so let's just go ahead and select both of these and press GY and then we can go ahead and go into vertex select mode and select this top ring here and then bring that back to make it look a little better and then we can just sh oops sorry sharpen this edge here to make it look a little sharper and uh, if you don't, if you're new to bl Blender and uh, modeling, and you don't know how to get sharp edges, this is how you do it. Because when you um, when you add a subdivision surface, you are basically smoothing out the averages. So from point here to point here, it smooths it out. And the closer the vertices are to each other, the less amount it has to average out. So it doesn't smooth as much, and the edges are sharper. I think that's a good way to explain it. So that looks good. Let's go back in here. And uh, we can go ahead and uh, sharpen this edge up here where it meets. Mm. Actually, that's okay. We can just sharpen this up a little bit on the inside here. Uh, wrong one. I wasn't looking at it properly. Here we go. There we are, and here we are. Actually, that outer one is unnecessary. I'll just do the same thing for up here. Okay. Okay, there. So that looks good. If you want to, you can go ahead and add uh, sort of like a something to extrude from here give it a cool effect here so let's press S I mean E to extrude and then press S Y to make it short here and then press E and extrude out a tad bit so we have a, a cool looking sort of a, I don't know what this would be called but it looks kind of neat kind of scale on the Z a little bit and add a edge loop yeah it looks fine um okay so uh, that's pretty good so let's just start working on the blade a little bit and after that we'll continue on the next part so let's go ahead and bring this in let's press S Z 0 just to flatten that out because it doesn't look very straight and bring that down so we can actually do that here as well. Go ahead and bring this over here. SZ0. Yeah, that looks a lot better. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and make this blade a lot longer. Okay. Alright, so let's go ahead and add a uh, loop cut in the middle here just so that it looks a little better. Go into vertex select mode. Okay, and um, yeah, I think that's enough. So we can let's just tweak one more thing here. Oh, let's go ahead and select this whole loop of um, vertices here. Press S Z Z. Uh, to get on the local z-axis, you can see that here, or sorry, here. If you press S Z, it's global, and now it's local. And if we press, hmm, 
zero, I think that will flatten it. Oops, there I did global again. No, it won't. So we can just press SZ. Uh, actually, let's just smooth it. That seems like it would work. Then we'll press uh, this here. These two are sticking out way too much. And press SY. There. Okay, so uh, one more thing we can actually do to make this look a little bit better. Actually, no, we have to straighten these out some, so we'll do that next part. Just move this over here. I might even want to add maybe a back um, mirror modifier, so it looks a little bit better. Okay, I think we're running out of time. Yes, we are. Okay, so in the next part, we will continue. Alright guys, thanks. Bye.